Scream 6 is a 2023 American slasher film directed by Matt Bettinelli Olpin and Tyler Gillett and written by James Vanderbilt and Guy Busick. It is the sequel to Scream, 2022, and the sixth installment in the Scream film series. The film stars Melissa Barrera, Jenna Ortega, Jasmine Savoy Brown, Mason Gooding, Hayden Panettiere, and Courtney Cox, all reprising their roles from previous installments, alongside Josh Sagara, Jack Champion, Devin Nakoda, Liana Liberato, Tony Revolori, Samara Weaving, Henry Cherney, and Dermot Mulroney joining the ensemble cast. The film follows a new ghostface killer, who begins targeting the survivors of the Woodsboro legacy murders in New York City. A sixth Scream film was announced just weeks after the successful debut of Scream, 2022, with much of the cast signing on to reprise their roles alongside Bettinelli Olpin and Gillett's return. Filming took place in Montreal, Canada, from June to late August 2022. Neve Campbell did not reprise her role as Sidney Prescott, making this the first Scream film not to feature her. Brian Tyler composed the film's score, with Sven Falconer also co-scoring the film. Scream 6 premiered at the AMC Lincoln Square Theater in Manhattan on March 6, 2023, and was theatrically released in the United States on March 10 by Paramount Pictures. The film received generally positive reviews from critics and grossed over $169 million worldwide. It became the first installment in the franchise to gross $100 million at the domestic U.S. box office since Scream 2, 1997, and is the highest-grossing Scream film in the United States and Canada, unadjusted for inflation. List of Scream, Film Series, Characters Melissa Barrera as Sam Carpenter, the illegitimate daughter of Billy Loomis and survivor of the Woodsboro Legacy Murders. Jasmine Savoy Brown as Mindy Meeks Martin, Chad's twin and a survivor of the Woodsboro Legacy Murders. Jack Champion as Ethan Landry, a student at Blackmore University and Chad's roommate. Henry Cherney as Christopher Stone, Sam's therapist. Mason Gooding as Chad Meeks Martin, Mindy's twin, and a survivor of the Woodsboro legacy killings. Roger L. Jackson as the voice of Ghostface. Liana Liberato as Quinn Bailey, a student at Blackmore University, Sam and Tara's roommate, and Wayne's daughter. Dermot Mulroney as Wayne Bailey, a detective and Quinn's father. Devin Nakoda as Anika Kyoko, a student at Blackmore University and Mindy's girlfriend. Jenna Ortega as Tara Carpenter, Sam's half-sister and survivor of the Woodsboro legacy killings. Tony Revolori as Jason Carvey, a film student at Blackmore University. Josh Sagara as Danny Brackett, Sam, Tara and Quinn's neighbor, and Sam's boyfriend. Skeet Ulrich as Billy Loomis, one of the original Ghostface killers, and Sam's father, who appears in her visions. Samara Weaving as Laura Crane, a film professor at Blackmore University. Hayden Panettiere as Kirby Reed, a survivor of the Woodsboro murders in 2011, who is now an FBI agent. Courtney Cox as Gail Weathers, a talk show host, legacy survivor, and author. One year after the Woodsboro killings orchestrated by Richie Kirsch and Amber Freeman, a Blackmore University professor Laura Crane is catfished by her student Jason Carvey who lures her outside a bar in New York City and murders her while wearing a ghostface costume. Jason plots with his roommate Greg to kill sisters Sam and Tara Carpenter to finish the movie that Richie and Amber wanted to make. However, Jason receives a call from a different ghostface, who has killed Greg and subsequently stabs Jason to death. Sam and Tara now live in New York City, with Tara attending Blackmore University with fellow survivors Chad and Mindy Meeks Martin, alongside their roommate Quinn Bailey, Mindy's girlfriend Anika Kyoko, and Chad's roommate Ethan Landry. Sam attends therapy with Dr. Stone and is ostracized in public because of an online conspiracy theory that she was the true mastermind of the latest killings. Quinn's father, Detective Wayne Bailey, who has killed Greg and subsequently stabs Jason to death, Sam and Tara now live in New York City with Tara attending Blackmore University with fellow survivors Chad and Mindy Meeks Martin, alongside their roommate Quinn Bailey, Mindy's girlfriend Anika Kyoko, and Chad's roommate Ethan Landry. Sam attends therapy with Dr. Stone and is ostracized in public because of an online conspiracy theory that she was the true mastermind of the latest killings. Quinn's father, Detective Wayne Bailey, calls Sam in for questioning as her ID was found at the scene of Jason's murder along with a ghost face mask worn in the previous year's attacks. 
On the way to the station, Ghostface calls Sam from Richie's phone, who then attacks Sam and Tara, kills multiple bystanders, and leaves behind another Ghostface mask worn in the 2011 Woodsboro killings. Mindy theorizes that the killer is following the rules of film franchises, specifically the rule that anyone can die while the franchise will still continue. Ghostface later attacks the group in Sam and Tara's apartment, killing Quinn and Anika, but Sam's boyfriend Danny helps the others escape. Ghostface leaves behind a mask worn in the Windsor College killings. Wayne is officially taken off the case following Quinn's death, but vows to help the group and avenge his daughter. Gail takes the group to an abandoned cinema she found while investigating, which has been set up as a shrine to the Ghostface killers, including weapons and outfits from each set of attacks. Ghostface calls Gail at her apartment and torments her about the death of Dewey Riley, before killing her boyfriend Brooks and attacking her. Sam and Tara arrive just in time to stop Ghostface from killing Gail, who is taken to the hospital. The group agree to meet Kirby at the theater to trap Ghostface. On the subway platform, they are separated, and Mindy is stabbed by Ghostface in a moving train. At the theater, Sam sees a hallucination of her father, original Ghostface killer Billy Loomis, who reminds her to defend herself and distrust everyone. Taking her father's knife from the original murders, Sam realizes they have been locked inside. Wayne calls Sam to warn her that Kirby was fired from the FBI months earlier. Two Ghostface appear and attack Chad. As Tara and Sam attempt to escape. Kirby and Wayne both arrive with guns drawn. Wayne shoots Kirby, revealing himself as a third ghost face and the mastermind, his accomplices are his children, revealed to be Ethan and a still-alive Quinn, the trio reveal that they are Richie's family who want to avenge his death. They were responsible for defaming Sam online and planned to frame her for their killing spree. Sam and Tara gain the upper hand and fight off the Bailey family, with Tara stabbing Ethan and Sam killing Quinn. Sam then dons her father's ghost face costume taunts Wayne with a phone call using the voice changer, and viciously stabs him to death. Ethan resurfaces, but Kirby smashes the television set that killed Stu Macker, B, over his head, killing him. Sam agrees to let Tara live her life more independently, and Tara agrees to go to therapy. As the still-alive Mindy, Chad, and Kirby are taken to the hospital, Sam stares at her father's ghost face mask before discarding it and following Tara and Danny into the city. As of May 4, 2023, Scream 6 has grossed $108.2 million in the United States and Canada, and $60.8 million in other territories, for a worldwide total of $169 million. In the United States and Canada was projected to gross $35 to $40 million from 3,675 theaters in its opening weekend. The film made $19.3 million on its first day including $5.7 million from Thursday night previews. It went on to debut to $44.4 million, marking the highest opening weekend of the franchise and finishing first at the box office. Of the opening weekend audience, 71% of the audience was between the ages of 18 and 34, with 42% being between 18 and 24, while 51% were male. It made $17.5 million in its second weekend, finishing second behind newcomer Shazam, Fury of the Gods, and then $8.4 million in its third weekend, finishing fourth. The film crossed the $100 million mark on April 5, becoming the first of the franchise to do so domestically since Scream 2, 1997. It became the highest-grossing film in the franchise at the United States and Canada box office in unadjusted dollars. On the review aggregator website Rotten Tomatoes, the film holds an approval rating of 77% based on 286 reviews, and an average rating of June 7, 10. The site's critical consensus reads, certain aspects of horror's most murderously meta-franchise may be going stale, but a change of setting and some inventive set pieces help keep Scream 6 reasonably sharp. On Metacritic, the film has a weighted average score of 61 out of 100, based on 53 critics, indicating generally favorable reviews. Audiences polled by CinemaScore gave the film an average grade of B plus on an A plus to F scale, the same score as Scream 2, 1997, and Scream, 2022, while those at PostTrack gave it an overall 87% positive score, with 74% saying they would definitely recommend it.